You're watching Breezeway Productions. I'm Tia Barr, your host, and we're here at the 69th Annual Area Awards for the Television Academy of Arts and Sciences. We're here speaking with some presenters and some nominees. Enjoy. Tell me what this nomination means to you. Well, you know what? It takes a village, so it means a lot that our show has been nominated for eight Emmys. Eight Emmys, which is pretty landmark for us, and in different categories because, you know, it's an entire machine. It's a, it's, we didn't in invent this wheel. We're just keeping the wheel clean, you yeah. know? So um, it's just exciting, I mean, to be no a nod like that. Um, since we've you know had our move to a new network, just new fun things, and it's we're just excited. I don't what know are what's you, happen. Valentina? What are you most excited about being part of the Emmys this year and just being so involved and right. making it happen? I love any excuse to be glamorous. I'm very excited also that our show's nominated because the whole world is in love with this show. It's everybody in the art industry watches it, swears by it. Actors, anybody that's behind the scenes of anything in Hollywood, it's a great show, and finally. We're nominated and we're winning, right? We're gonna win, right, Delta? Oh, we have to. We don't yes. have a choice. <laughs> the is on. We want to see you ladies win. What's your favorite part about working with KCUT, and what's your journey like? How's it been? KCUT. That's a great question. So. KCET is public television, and I grew up watching public television like a lot of us yeah, probably did. Too, yeah. <laughs> and I think it shapes you know, our lives in ways that maybe we don't realize. And the reason why I love being part of the KCET family is because we don't cover car chases or you know White House press conferences. I know those stories are really sexy. No offense to the people who cover the car chases. There are a lot of them here tonight. <laughs> but we have the opportunity in public television to really take an issue, uh, a person or a group of people that's maybe typically marginalized overlooked and we can give those people a voice we can give them a platform help tell their stories and I think at the end of the day viewers of public television walk away with a little more insight and knowledge by watching our programs versus some of the other stuff that's you out think there. It's a little bit more personable. People can relate a little bit more. I think to the so. Stories. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I, I think just the heart and soul of what we do is really about telling great stories and producing really great content. So that, to me, is is what's most satisfying about working with the Casey. I love that. Thank you so much, and congratulations on tonight. Keep up the amazing work. And what's your favorite part about working with NBC? The, I just just one. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> just like your highlight of everything. I mean, name like five if you want. You know, the funny, th the great thing about working for uh, NBC for is that we're challenged every single day and we have a management team from New York all the way to Los Angeles. They're committed to breaking news. They're committed to local coverage and to be part of that and know that there are no limitations. I'm very, very fortunate. Do you think that ignites your spark the most, just being on the edge, not knowing what's going to happen next? Is that what, what keeps you, ignites your spark the most? I, I, my theory has always been if, I, if I'm not nervous before I go on, that means I have no passion for it and yeah. I'm always nervous. <laughs> Here with Nathan Masters, the host of Lost in LA. How are you? Congratulations. Thank you. Doing great. Really excited. Yeah, yeah. you're excited to be presenting tonight? Exactly. Yeah, excited. And, and we're nominated for an Emmy in the Culture History category. Oh, wow. Congratulations. Yeah. That is very, very exciting. How long has this show been going for? Well, we, we're actually, we've had one pilot season last year, and we're uh, another season's in the works coming this fall, KCET. So one pilot season, that's like a few episodes, isn't that at least? It's three episodes. We're testing out the concept. It worked, so we're coming back with more. And you're already nominated for that? <laughs> yeah, I know. How does that work out? <laughs> <laughs> How does that work? Yeah. That's incredible. Well, you must have some big fans out there. So what's your uh, favorite part about being involved with the Television Academy of Arts and Sciences? Uh, I mean, I just, I love being able to share stories about LA history. We take stories from the archives and um, make history engaging. You're here at the Academy. What does the Television Academy mean to you, being part of the Television Academy? I think over the last over the last few years, recognizing kind of how much how much work, A, goes into these events, but also the support of all the, all the shows that, because there's so much TV these days, I don't know how they actually narrow it down. So I think awards like this are really important to kind of, you know, give the, the individual praise where it's deserved. So I'm going to be uh, uh, closing the show, presenting an award, so uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Well, wonderful, you just break a leg out there. Thank you for joining us here on the red carpet at the Television Academy. How does it feel to be here tonight? Really excited. This is my first LA Area Emmys, and so I'm excited to be presenting tonight. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Your first time presenting, are you nervous at all? Nah, it's what we do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got this handled. Anybody you're rooting for? You know what? I kind of say may the best man win. I'm just I'm just happy to be a part of it. Yes. I yeah. agree. I agree. Everyone deserves to be here, so it's, it's nice to be a part. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for joining me, and enjoy the rest of your evening. You both look amazing. Thank Keep you. up the great work. Hi. How are you doing? How are you excited tonight? Yes, I am. This is a very nice honor to be here, and uh, we're looking forward to it. 
Well, you both look amazing. And tell me what the P Television Academy being part of it means to you and all these wonderful people and comrades that you're surrounded by. Well, you know, I've uh, been here for 44 years working for the LA Kings on TV and radio, and so it's uh, it's great to come here and see colleagues in the same business and, and to be honored by people who are in your own business. So uh, I'm honored to be here, and I'm looking forward to a great night. We just got finished with speaking to some of the nominees and presenters. They're in there accepting their awards. We're going to wish all of them luck. Thanks for watching Breezeway Productions. Tia Barr signing off.